All right, man, hop in this thing. Let's get her fired up. It's in the old mystery bag. All right, Reed, what's the plan for this thing? As you guys know, we blew a motor in the white car at Lakeview. Me and Jason talked about it. We're gonna build it for that car. So, heard it here first. Brother, What's up, man? you're sitting on the wrong side of the car. I'm trying to dodge all your flags out here. I know. They're getting ready to run the electric and stuff, so. Can't wait. Import Outlaws back at it again. That's right. How you been, brother? Busy. Lots of schoolwork. Uh, dad yeah. life. Working. Dad life, you know. <laughs> I'm about to get real busy with dad life. Having two youngins running around. A couple weeks. Yeah, Cade's a dang handful all the time. He just, he wants to get into everything. And Dang then it. now you got two of them. Yeah, now we're gonna have a newborn too. What's going on with the uh the old Mazda? What do you mean? Hub capture <laughs> off of it. Bumper looks like it's about to fall off. <laughs> well, hey, the bumper's been like that, but uh hey here, grab this camera real quick. Let me tell the story. Alright, so I'm driving home from work one day, minding my own business and everything. All of a sudden, hubcap goes rolling past me. Going down 21, you know. I turn around, you know, find it get out of the car, throw it back in the car, get home, go to get Cade out of the passenger seat. Notice both my hope caps are gone. So I don't know where the other one went, but you know, she's uh, she's looking pretty rough these days. Somebody else's problem now? Yeah, it's somewhere on the road. She gets from point A to point B though. That's all that matters. But I did retrieve one of them. Nice. Of course it's broken. So that's trash too. So I'm looking like Black Eyed Betty out there. We can take one off this side and put it on the other side. Oh uh, yeah, I'll put the front ones on and then, then at least we got front ones and we're good. But she gets me back and forth to work, back and forth to Jason's. Uh, I used it as a truck yesterday. I had about 10,000 pounds of electrical supply in it. So, you know, she, she's been good. You got a, uh, a time frame on when, when the electrical is gonna be done? Hopefully sometime in the next couple weeks. They're actually, they're coming to install the box and everything tomorrow. And then uh, we just got to wait on the power company to run power at that point. Nice. So what we got going on today, Reed? What you got planned for us? So we actually got someone coming to pick up that car. So I know you guys have probably seen this thing in the background a lot, but uh, it's actually my dad's car. I've been holding it here because they, they moved out to Colorado, but we got someone coming to pick it up. So I know the V3 is a, has a Fox body chassis, but you never really told me anything else about it. Yeah, so this car has a, a long history to it. It's a, it's an asphalt car. We ran it down in Florida when I lived down there. We built this thing out of early 2000s. I was, I was still a little kid when my dad built it. So uh, he ran it for a while. Then in 2013, I would started running it and I run it for two or three seasons before I switch back to the dirt stuff. But yeah, like I said, I've just been kind of storing it and uh, it's gonna go down to Florida and my dad's probably gonna continue to run it. But yeah, they have four 2300s in them, uh, carbureted and full tube chassis. It starts out as a Fox body like what I got here, but uh, pretty much the only thing left in them is the K member and um, you know the rear end. Now, other than that, it's an aftermarket car. For what it is, it's pretty stout. Um, I mean, it's fully fully built, and they probably make about 250, 260 of the wheels. I mean, I've never had one on the dyno, so I don't know for sure. I, I do miss driving these things. They're a lot of fun, especially on the short tracks. I'm gonna try to throw a couple clips from the old days in this video. <laughs>
miss running them. I definitely appreciate the time that, you know, I did get to run them with my dad and everything. It was a lot of fun. So with the V3, did you or your dad ever have any good, uh, good turnouts? Yeah, I mean, I know my dad won a few races in it. I won a few in the time I ran it, but it was always a pretty strong car. It's a division up here that they don't really run anywhere. If, if I wanted to go run it, I'd have to drive a few hours to, to go. So just doesn't really fit into the schedule with the dirt stuff we have going on. But, right. you know, maybe I'll get the opportunity to go down to Florida and run it a couple of times. Uh, the guy that's coming to get it, you know, he's still good friends to us. And yeah, I know he'd let me drive it anytime I wanted to. All right, brother, let's start getting this thing on rollers. Let's get do it. Uh, the hole it's in. Hop in this thing, let's get her fired up. I'll teach you how to start one of these. Turn the switch on. All right, <clears throat> ignition switch. Actually, turn that off, turn that off. Uh, pump up some oil pressure real quick. Right. So, hit that ignition switch, pump it one time, the throttle. All right, fire her up. Crying. <laughs> old race fuel just burned my eye sockets out. Ooh. What'd you think? I think it looks pretty sweet. Shout out to my boys at Action Graphics, always keeping our cars looking sweet. It's in the old mystery bag. Top secret stuff going on around here. All right, Reed, what's the plans with this thing? All right, well, as you guys know, we blew a, a motor in a white car at Lakeview last weekend. So, me and Jason talked about it. I got a K-Series block here that came out of that Integra when I bought it. And we're gonna build it for that car. So, you heard it here first, switching that thing over to a K-Series. We liked what we saw on stage Friday the other night. So, it's kind of made this decision a little easier. Now that we have tested how the K-Series acts in the car, now we just gotta decide if we wanna put better pistons in it and, or just kind of stick, stick with the stock bottom end like Stage Fright has. Figure out the head and everything that's, that's gonna go on it. Yeah, I do have a head out in the container, so we just gotta go through, put better valve springs in it, gotta get cams and stuff like that, but <clears throat> other than that, it'll be ready to slap on here and go. So we, we case swap Stage Fright. Stage Fright had a B series before, and the white car has an H series. Is there anything that that transfers over straight onto the K series with that, or? Um, no, the H and B stuff's more interchangeable than it is with the K series. So, you know, we'll have to do ECU wiring harness, axles, uh, obviously motor transmission mounts, header, probably a radiator to whole so, nine. Yeah, whole <laughs> nine yards. So, there's a lot that goes into it. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna finish out the season in stage fright. And then that gives us some time to get the, the white car ready for our big race in February. And where's that gonna be at? So that's 20 grand to win at Screven. It's one of my favorite races of the year. Great atmosphere. I absolutely love that place. So we're gonna be going there in a couple weeks. We're gonna do a little testing, try some new setup stuff out. We hope to make stage fright turn a little better. So it'll kind of be a good opportunity to, to do that. She looks a little beat up. Yeah, this might have had something to do with the reason the bearing spun. So, the oil pan got crushed, broke the oil pump off of the block, and then 
you know, it doesn't take long to, to herd a bearing at that point. Just starved it. I starved it. Golly. You racing? You running around the car? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. All right, what do we have behind door number one? Ooh, that doesn't look good. That's pretty pitted. Hmm. Looks like it did hurt the crank a little bit. Might be able to be polished out. I don't see any deep grooves or anything like that. It's just not as nice and shiny as I would like to see it. Yeah, those, uh, those bearings are pretty ate up. We're just gonna get this thing tore down today, kind of see where we're at with it. And yeah, figure out what we need to order. What's yeah. all bad and what all we can hopefully reuse. Yeah, let's see if we can salvage anything off of this. Too bad one of them has some scoring in it on the other part of the block yeah this one has a pretty deep gash in it which is the the last one in line so i mean the cylinder balls don't look bad so i think we got something we can work with here all right guys well we got the k24 all pulled apart we got a good idea of what we need to get now so successful day in the shop well guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. It's kind of a short one this time. We don't really have a whole lot going on other than tearing this motor down and doing a little work on stage right here and there. Yeah, the motor didn't look as bad as we thought it was gonna be, um, so that's a plus. Do us a favor, drop a comment, give us a like, subscribe, and share us with your friends. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.